Welcome back to the seventh episode of the Cave Podcast. How are you, Milo? Good, thanks. My how are you, host, mate? Um, Capo could not turn up today. Unfortunately, we have got a very special guest Extremely special. today. I've been wanting to get him on since episode one, and we finally figured out a day, a time, and when, and that is today. So, firstly, we're just going to talk for five, ten minutes. So, we're going to talk about our seasons first. So, Milo. Recap of your season, how do you reckon um, your team went? Our season went pretty well, to be honest. Unfortunately, we got knocked out in um, a pretty ordinary style in the first final. Yeah. But um, other than that, I think it was actually all right. I think we went 9-5 and five or 10-4, and four, whatever it was, from what we were last year to barely... I think we got four wins last year. It was pretty yeah, good. That's good improvement. Yeah. How about you, John? Yeah, so we had a bit of a rough season. You know, We got unlucky in all sorts of ways. Mm-hmm. So we finished fifth. We just missed out on finals to Altham. Um, yeah, overall, I reckon we had a good season, you know, yeah. in blue division, most of the time, last couple of seasons, uh, when we're in blue division, we were getting smashed. Yeah. We only really got smashed by Monty this season, mm-hmm. but every other team, we put up a good fight, That's pretty and nice. I think next season we'll do well. Very nice. Finals bound next season. Good stuff, good stuff. So, uh, we're going to congratulate the grand finalists for Yarrabat. So we have over there, it's the under 14 girls, congratulations to you girls. Under 13 red boys, under 12 girls, under 12 boys, and the under 11 boys. Congratulations well to all you guys. Well done to you guys. Big season for you. We had nine teams make finals. Yep. Seven make the grand final. That's not bad. And five wins. Five wins. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. We've got, we got the cups here. Um, almost forgot about this. <sighs> we almost forgot about the Pepsi. Pepsi. Have a crack. I'm a bit thirsty, actually. Oh, mine went everywhere. Very nice. Very nice. Should we spoil who's coming on? I think they'll know by the title, but we'll spoil it now. Oh, we'll spoil it now. Oh, yeah, true. The title, yeah, yep. I forgot about that. Actually, will we hit the title? No, nah, no, nah, we'll put it in. Oh, ah, no. Nah. we got Boomer coming on We're today. He is here. We're, we're just... You reckon we get him now? Have we? I reckon we, we get him now. Today? Let's get him now. We'll finish right. it. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, welcome here, Boomer. How are you today? I'm good, thanks, Jono. Thanks for coming on. Jono, Mardo and... Bumo? How's your day been? <laughs> uh, my day today was at the Kangas all day. Um, that was our last training session for the year. Ooh. So we got our captain's run on Saturday. We, oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, Friday. We play Saturday. Um, but today was the last main session of the year. So yep, yep. a little bit sad, yeah. actually. Yeah. It's finished the year. It's always sad finishing the year. Yeah. yeah. What, what have you been doing since retirement? Um, well, I've been working at the Kangas. Mm-hmm. So I've actually got a couple of jobs. So I've got my own little business, Spark. Uh, it's a little drink, um, oh, yeah, pre-workout okay, yeah. drink that I do. A little, oh, I shouldn't say a few days. I only do a few hours of that a week. Um, I work at the Kangas, obviously. I do two days during the week and I'm a match day runner, so three days there. And I also work at a school um, running a footy program. And, of course, I've got Boomfit as yeah, well, which you boys have both been yeah, part of, running my, um, my little footy program up at Yarrambat. And yep. I've also got a, a number of kids outside of Yarrambat as well. But um, it was good to finally get up here with the Yarrabat boys and run yeah. a full yeah. program for the footy club. It was, yeah, uh, that was, it was pretty good. I enjoyed good. that. You enjoyed it? What did you think about that, Mido? It was really good. I got so much out of it. Yeah, so what, what was the main thing that you, you took, you reckon? Picking up the ball. Yeah, that yeah. was... I, I so improved so much at that. Okay, that's good. All the drills that we did. Yeah. I, I don't know, I just, just improved a lot in my games. Perfect. What yeah, you, definitely my running. I took it from being a mediocre runner yeah. to a pretty good runner to Absolutely. being able to get through games. For yeah, and I, th- I guess the... Our thing with the program, we want to show kids that you can be. What why, the slogan is, "Why be good when you can be great?" But um, the intensity of different things that you do, because when you train at junior level, you don't really train with a great yeah. deal of intensity. Yeah. So we wanted to bring a program for you boys that eventually, hopefully, play for the Northern Knights and all the rep mm-hmm. teams, which is are doing now. Yeah. Um, what it really takes to be a, a really good footballer. So I'm glad you guys uh, enjoyed it. It was yeah. fun. It was yeah. fun doing it too. So yeah, yeah it was so, good. Well, I think. We'll talk more about uh, Boomfit because I think we should show other people and other clubs what it's all about. So what's the what's the behind the scenes of Boomfit? How, yep. How's it all run? So I, um, myself and Nathan Skadudis, mm-hmm. who's my wife's cousin, um, our first thought was there's a lot of young kids that get um, the opportunity to train with Northern Knights and then if they don't make the Northern Knights, they sort of just filter back through 
and don't really go anywhere with their footy. So yeah. we wanted to give them guys an opportunity to come back, get a little bit better, and hopefully get another opportunity at night. So that was our initial thoughts around it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just really stemmed from there. We've had so many other kids that weren't invited to Northern Knights that come and trained with us and then got an invite to Northern Knights because their footy improved. So yeah. it sort of just ballooned out from our original idea to help young kids. That's always going to be our focus, helping young kids get better. Um, but it stemmed from those a few players that got um, moved on from Northern Knights to get back into just being open to a lot of players that want to go further with their football. Um, then, of course, spoke to Oz and the boys up here and um, got us involved at the Yarrambat Football Club, which is which is awesome. So now we work with the 14s, 15s, 16s, and a few 17s boys. Yeah. And we've uh, we've taken Boomfit to. Uh, this is the only football club we've been working with exclusively, so it's been great to be up here. Obviously, yeah. I've got a great relationship with, with everyone here, with my kids playing up here as well. Um, so, yeah, it sort of just started there, but Nathan does a great job. Yeah, um, so Scooter. He was our... Scooter. He joined my team. Yeah. Help us out a bit. Yeah, he, he's good, he's isn't good he? Yeah. So he, um, he's got a, a big sporting background. He's a really good junior cricketer. Um, I had an accident and lost some of his eye. Um, he was a really good footballer as well. Mm -hmm. So he, he's a little bit old school. He loves the the rant and raving and making yeah. kids go hard and yeah. stuff. But that's, um, I think we miss a little bit of that in junior football. So um, I, I enjoy working with him. And um, I've got to work with people that are really passionate and he's super passionate. Yeah, so it's, um, you can you boys would know that from, from yeah. training with him. Yeah, definitely. His footy IQ is awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's he's, his knowledge for the game. Yeah. He knows everything. And he watches a lot of football and he gets around and watches a lot of kids too. So it's uh, it's been super working with him. Yeah, definitely. Um, So... After North Melbourne, obviously, you've gone to North Heidelberg to play with your brother. Yeah. So how's that been going for you? Yeah, it's been really good. I've, I've stayed there a little bit longer than I anticipated. My my goal was to play one year and win a premiership with him, <laughs> and I did that, um, and I've just enjoyed it ever since. Yeah. Oh, I love footy. I'm a footy head, and um, as I said, I wanted to play one year. I think I've played – we've had a couple of COVID years yeah. that haven't been great to us, but um, – I've played, I think, four or five years now. And this year, I've only played five games due to my running um, duties at North Melbourne. But mm -hmm. it's been uh, it's been really good. It's something I always wanted to do because when Shane got drafted to Essendon, played two yeah. years at Essendon, and then came to North Melbourne, and I played two years with Shane at North Melbourne. But I was really focused on what I wanted to achieve and win another premiership. And I didn't really enjoy it as much as I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So I always said, as soon as I finish, regardless how old I am, I'll come back and play a year with you. And, now I've just got to know all the boys and the footy club's a great football yeah. club and of course they're a feeder club to, yeah. to Yarrambat so yeah. hopefully we see a few of the, the Yarrambat boys over at North Heidelberg as well and um, it, it's, a, it's a really good football club like this it's a really good football club so I've just enjoyed it and um, keep playing Yeah. and my, my body says I'm going okay still in terms of my yeah, fitness clearly. and everything so yeah. I, uh, I'm happy to keep going. Very yep. nice. Um, let's just talk about the general, the overall season this year that we've had at Yarrambat. So we've had so many events yep. and all that sort of stuff. What are your thoughts on this season of Yarrambat? Well, if you look behind us, uh, yeah, <laughs> you, can clearly, too bad. you can clearly it's, see. It shows good stuff. Yeah, well, number one, I think it's it's, it's an unbelievable football club. It's a junior football club, but it's every time you come down here, there's something going on. Uh, the people here, the guys who run it, are unbelievable. So yeah. you, number one, and an old coach told me this, that you've got to have good people run your football club, or not run your football club, be in your football club. Yeah. And I think this club has got abundance of, of people that are just good people. Um, and you can see that filtering down to the the respect that you get here from all the young kids through the through the Boomfit program and, and things like that. And uh, nine teams made the finals, I think. Yeah, Seven teams nine. made the grand final and mm -hmm. five premier, premiers out of the seven yeah, teams. That's um, good. It's, good. it's unbelievable. And I was lucky enough to not be involved because I'm a little bit too old to be playing uh, junior football. <laughs> but my, my boy Hudson, he played yeah. in the under-11s and they had a win as well. And my nephew, um, Jakai and Jet, they played in the 12s, I think. It, yeah, the under-12s. And they won as well. Yeah. So um, as well as my cousin's young boy, Hunter, mm -hmm. Uh, there's a few Harveys at the football club, yeah, so there um, a yeah, there are a few premiership players there and um, it was a good night. We come back here Sunday night, we had a few quiet beers that turned yeah. into a few loud beers, which is, <laughs> which is okay. And um, nah, it's a great football club and I'm, yeah. um, I'm really happy that my kids have had the opportunity to play here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course Cooper as well. Cooper yeah. come through. Yeah, Cooper's Cooper comes through here and was a premiership player here yeah. as well. So um and, and Lacey, my daughter yeah, played. played yeah, yeah she played it. Well. She doesn't play football anymore. But so yeah, no, it's been great for me to have my three children come and play football here because it's such a good football club. Yeah, it's yeah. a lovely club. Uh, going on to Sunday night, the night was amazing. Yeah, all it was your, a good night. All your thoughts on that night. Yeah, it's um well there was, it was about I don't know, I walked into the club rooms and I just sat in the corner for a little bit and I 
um, started speaking to a few guys, and I thought, gee, there's a lot of people yeah, here. And I didn't yeah. realise that this part that we're in now was full of people as well. Yeah, so, so many people. And then you go outside, the fire was going, um, there was people out there. So I reckon there would have been close to four or 500 people here. Yeah. And yeah. that just shows that, and I know a lot of people obviously played in the premierships and their families came back, but just to support the, the teams that didn't win the grand finals or the teams that didn't make finals, everybody was back here and it was um, it was a fantastic night. Yeah, there was kids everywhere. Yeah, there, there was, was, there so was people, people rolling down hills, there oh, was yeah. kids on the oval <laughs> yeah. with the lights on and then you come inside and there was four or five four or five hundred adults um, yeah. having a drink together and enjoying each other's company. So It was a good way to end the season. It was a good way. It's always good to win on a premiership. The celebration's always better. But I think if everybody had have lost, you sort of would have had the yeah. same amount of people yeah. here supporting yeah. everybody Definitely. at the footy club. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was a good night. And then there was Mad Monday. Yeah, at the Panton Hill. Hill pub. We all yeah. went there. I think that's a bit of a tradition. It is a classic club. Yeah, a bit there, of yeah. a tradition now. Yeah. I think Cooper, Cooper's team went there a few years back when they won the, the flag. So Hudson was... Uh, into us, make sure we're ready to go Monday morning so we can take him for a Palmer yeah. and a glass of Coke down at the um, Panton Hill pub. And it was fantastic. There would have been a couple of hundred people there yeah, as I well. Yeah, I really about people. Yeah, yeah it was, I, I had to wait two hours for my Yeah, I know. We waited a fair while as well. I think the cook would have been under the pump because yeah. there was a couple of hundred people there waiting. But um, that was another good day. So I think you guys have got your presentation coming yeah, up this on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday. We've got the Brownlow night for the 17s yeah. mm -hmm. the, the week after. Mm -hmm. So there's still a few good functions that um, to come a come along yeah yeah definitely good. yeah um what else have we got here so it's a harvey club obviously there's been a few people was there anyone like before cooper and lacy that came through the club no I, we actually played i grew up in preston and i played against yarren bat yeah um, we actually beat yarren bat in the grand final oh. in one of my premiership years but um no cooper was the first one to play here from our family mm. um so we've had cooper lacy and, and hudson obviously my three children mm -hmm. uh we've got uh archer Oh, Jet Jack. and Slater, who all Slater. play here. Oh, yeah, so. um, you've got my sister's boys, Jakai and Jagan, who mm -hmm. play here. Yeah. And then we've got my cousin Blair's boys, um, Hunter and Brax, who play here. So yeah. there's 10, 10 people who have come through and, and played here um, in our family. So it's been, a, yeah, it's been a, a good little um, Harvey Harvey family football club, you could yeah. you could say in the last Harvey's. yeah in the last six or seven years. So yeah. um, oh, we love coming down here, not just because the family's here, but they're like I said before, they're all very good people. But yeah, good family tie here now, so it's um it's fantastic. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So obviously Hudson has won a grand final. Yep. How does he feel? Is is he pumped? Still? Yeah. He said to me, brother, the other day, he said, "Hey, Uncle Shane, why didn't you welcome me to the club?" And Shane said, "What club?" And he said, "The Premiership Club." And I thought, <laughs> "Yeah, that was pretty cool." So. Um, <laughs> No, nah, he was super like excited. He, he was really nervous going into the game, like most kids probably would have been. Mm -hmm. But they've got a fantastic young team, coached really well yeah. by the, by um, all three coaches. And um, yeah, now that he's sort of won a premiership, he's yeah. that nerves have gone, and he's mm -hmm. wears his jumper and his medal, and he has a look at it before he goes to bed the last couple of nights. So it's um, it's really good for him to get a premiership at such yeah. a young age and yeah. experience that with, with the rest of his group. Yeah. So, um, yeah, really pleased for him. I think my first premiership was under 11s as was well. It? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So that's the first year yeah. now, I think, because under 10s don't have finals. No. Yeah, no. So I think under 11s, 11s is the first time. Yeah, 11s is the it. first year of yeah. finals. I want to ask you something, Boomer. Yeah. What's yeah, your correct. involvement with Yarrambat? Do you, have any, do you have any sort of involvement um, except for Next Gen? No, so, oh, so obviously the family yes. ties is there. Yep. The, um, I, I would like to come down and coach a little bit as well, but my my stuff doesn't yeah. have yeah. You know, have Definitely. a chance to do that. Um, the boom fit program obviously yep. mm -hmm. is is really big, but I mean there's so much going on down here, and we speak about what sort of football club it is. My brother Shane's obviously played AFL football. He comes down and helps. Um, his son's teams. Yeah. My cousin Blair, who's coached. Yeah, Northern Blair's, Blair's been helping us. Yeah, out a so bit. he's he's amazing. He's coached Northern Football League, mm -hmm. um, in in seniors. Um, you've got I think Timmy Smith who comes down and does some tackling practice yeah. with the with all the boys. He's an ex NRL player. Um, you've just got an abundance of people here to to do it. So oh, I just like coming down here um, all the time. Yeah, the family connection, the boom fit stuff. Um, we've, we've got a lot going on here, so it's, yeah. it's, it's a good club. Yeah. So we hear that Blair Harvey, Noah Barnes, Nate Caddy, Tim Smith and possibly Cooper helping out in pre-season planning. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a few things in the pipe works here. We want to make this the best junior football club in Australia, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, it's funny to say, Wazza always says it, why, why can't we be the best junior football club in Australia? And I can tell you what, they're well on the way of doing yeah, that. Yeah. The calibre of people that they're bringing in to do this sort of stuff. So we want to, we want to get Nate, Noah, Cooper, some of the past players 
that have been at this football club to come and help our younger kids. So we don't just want to work with the elite kids. So we want to get our A graders to, to become better players. We want to get our B graders to become A graders, C graders to become B graders, and, and the whole club improves from that as well. So we've got some really big plans. We want um, those younger boys to come in and help us with the under 12s and get them ready for the, the next program, the next yeah. Boom Fit program. Yeah. So you can call it the next gen um, of the under 12s and 13s getting ready for the 14s, 15s and 16s programs. Um, so there's a fair bit going on, but I love I love Wazza when he comes out and says, you know, we want to be the best football club in Australia. And I'll tell you what, with all this stuff going on behind yeah, us, we're, we're, there. we're yeah. not far behind, uh, yeah, we're not far away. So um, they've done a fantastic job, the committee. Um, yeah. They've done a really good, good job. and. Great to work with. Yep. Uh, the NFNL presentation is on tonight, I believe. Yes. I yeah, think I think we've got right. is 16 kids in it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah right. And they only invite them if they're in the top yeah. five or yeah. something top like 10, that. Yeah. Is it top ten? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and is it is it in this night, do they announce the best club? Um, the best junior club? Yeah, yeah they do. They yeah, do. I think they do. I reckon we have a good we chance. We might be in the running for Sure. It, I, think, I think we've won it a few times. Where we have. I, so think, I think we're a good chance. They might share it. If we don't win it, yeah, clearly they're just to, sharing yeah, it around exactly. or something like that. Yeah. 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 Isn't it? It has to be like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all right. Um, have you got any questions for us, Bruno? I have got a couple of questions yeah, for you. Got? So you boys um, go to the under 16s? I'm 16s, John are 17s. 16s and 17s. Yeah. 17s. Yeah. What's, what's your goals for... For next year, um, definitely to improve on my strength and my my like my my core strength. Definitely, yeah. I feel like I'm a bit weaker in that department. So, um, being able to break tackles and withstand them, yeah, um, would take my game to the next level. I reckon. Okay. John, what's yours? Definitely win a premiership. Yeah, I reckon. It's always a good I reckon idea, we're going to be. I want to be in blue again. Yep. And hopefully we can win a premiership in blue under 17s. I reckon that would be such a big accomplishment yeah. for this team. So I always say when I talk about goals, there's your main goal, and that's your main goal to win a premiership, and that sits right up here. Mm-hmm. I always say, how do you do that? So when you're, yep. when, you're, when you're next year and you guys are talking about that and breaking it down and see what you want to do, how do you do that? You know, you, we need to have a great pre-season. Yeah, we well, need to win yeah. every home game or something like that. So just when you do your goal setting around winning a premiership, just keep breaking it down and make sure that you... I reckon a uh, goal for me would be to not slack off during the off-season. Yep. Yeah, to definitely. always be doing something, go yep. for runs, go to the gym, Yeah, it's easy to get healthy. Un- it's easy yeah. to get unfit, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And then you come yeah. back and then you use... So pre-season used to be, for AFL players, you used to go into the... You used to have a big off-season and mm-hmm. you used, used to relax a little bit and then you got you say, righty-o, now I've got eight weeks to do a pre-season and get really fit. Mm-hmm. But now the players are maintaining their fitness, coming to pre-season and there's not... I'm getting fit to, for the season in pre-season. It's, I've already got fit, now I'm just going to another level. Yeah. And that's what you boys need to do. And that's what really good players do, especially junior players. They know a good balance of, I need a couple of weeks off, absolutely, but let's get ready to go again. And when you come for pre-season and you're in the boom fit programs and you're doing that sort of stuff, that you guys are really excelling and not yeah. just getting through. Yeah. Should we talk about more about Scooter? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, let's have a talk oh, about so his involvement with Next Gen Academy. Yep. What's that all about? Um, so the next, the next gen. Well, first of all, Nathan was down here. We trained here last night for North Heidelberg. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was down, um, and he was the, down just yeah. doing one on one with yeah. uh, young Oscar. Aussie, I think it yeah. was so Aussie. Um, yeah, sorry, Aussie. Um, so he, he does a he does a power of work. He, he's fantastic, but he wants to be involved. Uh, I think he come down and helped your team, Jono, 16s yep, yep. this year, halfway through the year. Mm-hmm. Um, just came down off his own bat. Um, he's got three children of him uh, on his own, but. He's um, he still finds time to yeah. to do stuff. So uh, yeah, he, he'll head up a, a few of our programs. I can't beat every program, obviously, because mm. I've got other work commitments. But I've got full trust in Nathan getting the job done, yeah. no matter what. He yeah. rings me twice a day. We set up training, and if I'm not here, he can go out there and and set everything up. So um, he'll head a few of our programs this year and. Going forward, um, he's a he's a ripper. We we touched on him before, but he's got a, a really good IQ, a really good yeah, football IQ. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't work with someone that didn't have that. Um, yeah. And most of all, his his passion to yeah. to helping young kids is is unbelievable. Like I said, our whole program started just to help those kids get back in the Northern yeah. Knights. He's, he's passion for footy overall as well. Yeah, he's, he's a, just, he un- unfortunately he's a Carlton supporter, so that <sighs> sort of. Lets team. himself down there, unfortunately. But um, yeah, no, nah, he's he's passion, he's passion, John Owen, and, yeah. and Mato is is unbelievable. You boys have seen it firsthand, yeah. so yeah. Um, I, I love working with him. Yeah, real yeah. quick, I've got a question for you again, Bruno. How do you reckon uh, North will go next season? It's interesting. I actually think our list is a little bit better than where it sits this year. Obviously, we've we've got one game to go, and we're 
looks like we're going to win the lose. Well, win the wooden spoon. Is that, is that how you say it? You yeah. win the wooden spoon? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, if we don't win this week, um, depends what happens with it, West Coast. But we're going to finish in the bottom two regardless. We've had a lot of injuries, unfortunately. Um, we haven't got a coach as it stands right now, so we're, we're obviously looking for one of them. And I think a new coach can come in and really give us something that we need. And our list, I think we just got to add slightly to it. So we might bring in a couple of mature age players into the football club. We'll draft again pretty well. We'll get pick one or two in the draft um, and we'll relaunch from there we'll have a big pre-season and you never know where'd Collingwood finish last year do you remember? Uh, 16th or 17th 17th I think it was yeah and they're they're sitting second on the ladder right now so uh, our competition's so um, so even you boys would have seen that if you're just off, any team can literally beat you. Yeah. Um, so it's that even that you only need to play teams at a two percent off, and you you have a good day, and you never know what happens. So yeah, that's pretty good. I asked uh, Minty this question, and I'm going to ask you as well. Yeah. Uh, can we talk about your, your junior footy career? Yeah, Where it all started? Touched on that. How did you get into footy? Yeah, absolutely. How did it all start? Um, so I I had a couple of really close friends, Adam and Justin, who I used to hang around with all the time. Mm-hmm. And their dad said to me, they were playing football and I wasn't. I used to just play football at school at lunchtime yeah. and stuff like that. I enjoyed it. I was only seven years old. And he said, come down and train with, with my two boys. So I went down there and trained. I got a black eye my first night, come home crying and said to mum, I'll never go down there again. Um, the next week I was there again. I started playing. So I started playing when I was seven. Mm-hmm. Um, I ended up at a junior football club called Preston RSL. Won about five premierships there. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah, we had we won five in a row. I left my last year and went to the Northern Knights. So I didn't play my last oh, year yeah. under 17s. Mm-hmm. I went there and I was at the Northern Knights that year and they, they won the flag again. So I did mention before that we did beat Yarrow in a yeah. in a flag, yeah. Uh, yeah. fifty nine to one, unfortunately. Oh. So we uh, <laughs> yes. we when I say unfortunately, it was fortunate for us at the time, but yeah, um, yeah. we we smashed Yarrow at the time. Um, yeah, I I was. You know, I won a few personal accolades. I won a couple of best in comps and a couple of best in Ferris at the football club. But mainly, I just I love being around my friends as much yeah. as I possibly can. And you guys won't know it right now, but right now being at school and junior football, it's nearly the best years of your life. Yeah. You realise that when you go out um, into the real world and you start working and you haven't mm. got you haven't got fifty mates around you at school, yeah. and then you come to footy training and you got twenty five more mates at, around you. Yeah. Um, you realise that when it's finished. Um, so I really cherish those moments that I, I played junior football with and I'm still really close mates with, with a lot of guys that I played junior football with. Um, so that, that I had really, really tight. I love my junior, my junior football career. I um, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're coming to an end here. You know, I've got a couple more questions and then we'll have a bit of fun at the end. All so, right. Boomer, what, what's your favourite moment of the year? Uh, at the Yarrambat Football Club? My yep. favourite moment... I won't lie, there's, there's been a lot because I've been involved here obviously a fair bit this year with the boom fit stuff and just seeing the progression of the boys, mm-hmm. That's that's been really um, pleasing for me to see, to see that. Um, but I won't lie to you, to see the smile on my little boy's face on Sunday when yeah. he won the yeah. Premiership, yeah. I've got the photos in my, on my phone and just to see the relief on his face with his big cheesy grin because yeah. he was a Premiership yeah. player. Yeah. That nearly tops it off. Yeah. And when you guys won't understand just yet because you're not parents, but when you do, that's really important to you to see them really happy. So Great. that was probably the main one. But seeing you boys and, and the rest of the Boom Fit boys progress um, throughout the program has mm-hmm. been has been really good. So yep. what about um, what about you, Marto? Start um, with you. Yeah, you got my, one? yeah I've got my favourite one. My favourite one was probably sorry, Zach Casey came and filled in for a game for us in the last last game of the year against Epping. Yep. Um, and in the last quarter, I think it was about five minutes left, he's, he's taken a pretty, I don't know how he's taken this mark, and he's gone back and he's slot the goal, and I think there was about 300 people rushing onto the ground. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> no, nah, was, there was probably, there was just the team rushing onto the ground, yeah, yeah. but it was, was one, that was a good moment. Moment. there was a smile on every single yeah. person's face, even from the other team, people were getting around. Oh, really? As well. So that's it was a good sportsmanship moment as well. Yeah, that's great. The, the back line came down, I have a video of it, I was up here and I was watching it, it was so awesome, yeah. such a good moment for him. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So my right. favourite moment would probably be... <sighs> Must have a few, obviously. Yeah. This might have to be cut out, but I reckon it's when we made that banner for Minty when he came back. Oh, yeah. Just watching his smile on his face when he's running through the battle was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he missed a few weeks, didn't he? Yeah, a couple he weeks. He eight, eight or ten. nine weeks or something yeah, like that. Ten, so. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. yeah Why was he so happy, you think? Oh, because 
the thought was there to do it for him. Yeah, yeah he, he loves us. Yeah, and we love him. And, that was a good moment. That's why footy clubs are so good, boys, because you can yeah. put smile on people's yeah. faces. That's um, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Well done. Yeah. yeah. So, um, funniest moment of the year now. Here we go. Here we what go. The funniest. Uh, mine was probably on. <laughs> mine was probably on Sunday. <laughs> I got the um, the big job of holding the banner for the kids. Oh. Now, normally when you open up a banner, yeah. they're about from here to your way. Yeah. You know, the kids just fit through it. This was six meters wide. This was done by maybe the North Melbourne Cheese Squad. I don't know. It was so yeah. big. Anyway, I was holding one of the, the posts, mm-hmm. and I reckon they must have had all the tape on my end, yeah. but they ran through it, one kid got clotheslined oh, by the tape, oh. ended up on his on the on the ground <laughs> on his back, and I was chasing the rest of them with the pole because the tape wasn't breaking, so I was sort of doing this, and I got sent a funny photo of it today, so uh, that was pretty funny to see the kids run through the banner yeah. at such a big stage of, you know, the yeah. grand final was just about to start, yeah. and they nearly um, ripped their yeah. neck off with all the tape, so that was pretty funny. Yeah, um, but mine's another banner one. For, so it was my my hundredth game alongside three other boys. Yep. Um, and it probably wasn't so funny for Riv, but what happened is we were running through the banner, and unfortunately one of the parents has let go of one of the sides. <laughs> and the post Why does that always happen for? <laughs> the post was coming and it's cleaned him up, and it, he's cut himself open. Oh, really? Behind the ear <laughs> about five minutes before the game. Before started. the game. Yeah, so we have to patch that up really quick. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I, you got me thinking here. I actually don't know, but the first thing that's come to my mind, I forget who the player was. We had a 100th game yep. and the banner ripped. Yeah. It was windy and the banner's ripped open and he just ran through blank air. Yeah, no, it's always a banner yeah, moment. It's always a banner. They're always, yeah, they either make him not good enough or yeah. they put 4,000 Four, pieces yeah. of tape on it and it rips someone's head off <laughs> yeah. you know, on the way through. We've got another guest here. He's just come on to talk about the jersey and thank some people. So, how are you saying, Mato? Very well, Johnny, yourself. Yeah, Boom, Mato. Mato. Mato, Mato Senior. Mato. Mato Senior. So, here we got the brand new next year's Indigenous jersey. Uh, do you want to talk about it, Mato? Yeah, well, this is next year's prototype um, for, for the Indigenous round. Um, a lot of people put in a lot of work over the last year or two for, for not only this year's one but for next year's as well. Uh, so a special shout out to, to Katie Lovett, uh, Victor Lovett, uh, Beck and the President Warren. Um, I think we spoke about it in the earlier podcast that you boys had a, had an involvement in in, yeah. in, in designing it. Yep. Yep. Um, so there, that's the one that we're looking at for next year which always draws a, a lot of excitement around the, around the club. Yep. So. Yeah, it's great that you enjoy it, yeah. yeah. It's um, it's actually a really great thing that you guys do as well. I think you've had the smoking ceremony on the ground. Yeah. and Absolutely the, amazing. The Indigenous culture is so big in football and the community. It's it's amazing yeah. that you guys do that. And all the boys and girls who wear it, they pretty much get to keep the jumpers. They all get to keep their jumpers, yeah. We're, is... we're, we're fortunate enough to have amazing sponsors that um, that make that possible for the kids. But, yeah, they get to keep it. And it's one of those things that they'll, they'll look back o- over the years. And, and personally speaking, I... Coach the 15s in the Indigenous round on the Saturday night, and the smoking ceremony, yeah. and and all, that was yeah. absolutely so for junior football. It was spine tingling. It was absolutely fantastic, yeah. and and I think we had about 600 down yeah, here. 600. Yeah, I, think the Ka- I think the Kangas played that night, so I wasn't down here, but I seen so many videos on Snapchat. And well, all I, I reckon our videos. crowd rivaled yours. It was yeah, yeah no, it was absolutely <laughs> amazing, like amazing for a junior so footy club. Yeah, it's it was, a great design too, isn't it? Yeah, it's, know, um, yeah. yeah. it's amazing. It's a really yeah. good looking jump. That, that wouldn't look out of place at an AFL club. AFL level, yeah. As I said, a lot of work goes into it. Um, yeah, so we're very, very fortunate to have, have people that are prepared to put up the time and money to, to make this happen for the club. Yeah. It's, it's good that the kids get to keep them as well. I mean, I've got mine at home still hung up. Yep. It's, it's good as So that goes for all the, uh, all the special round jumpers, the Anzac Day jumpers, the under-17 boys get to keep those, um, mm. the Indigenous jumpers. So, yeah, very fortunate. I remember sharing jumpers when I was a kid mm. at, at Junior Footy Club. And, yep. Yep. Now so, we get to keep our own. Yeah. yeah. No, well done. Fantastic. Very, nice. very good. Thanks, no very worries, good. boys. Got, all right, so look, we're going to finish it up here. We've got a, we've got a bit of a game here. Yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah. A bit of fun, fun to finish off. So I like fun. That's I'm good. Gonna, so the first thing that pops up to your mind, you give me an answer yep. of, of these questions. So right. I'll start off. Boom fit. Uh, helping youngsters get better. Yeah, I'm better. Uh, amazing football club and clearly winners. Yeah, AFL grand final. Uh, this year, I would have to say Geelong... Melbourne, maybe? Yep. North Melbourne. Oh, do we have to go there? <laughs> Tough question, Marto. I might leave that one. Warren Casey. Warren Casey. Uh, 
Can I say elite? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Um, scooter. Uh, scooter. Um, very passionate. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mia, for coming on. Nah, no worries, boys. Um, Thanks for having it's me. It's been a, such a good episode. I feel like this is going to do so well. Yeah, hopefully. I've, I've enjoyed hopefully. this one a lot. Mine yeah, it's been a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah really beautiful. Yeah. Now, hope, uh, hopefully your football goes to another level next year, boys, yeah. and you can um, be part of one of these yeah. behind us as well. And mm-hmm. have a good year. Thanks yeah. for having yeah, me on, Jono. Thank Thanks, Marto. Thanks, Thanks for Appreciate it, boys. What was... Yes, mate. You've set this all up for me, mate. Yeah. I want to. I want to say thank you for this. This whole podcast thing. You've done it all. The setup, everything. So thank you, was for a great podcast. It's been a pleasure, yeah, John. For the footy season as well, mate. For the footy season as well. Well, we'll yeah. five premierships. It's yeah. all about me, so it should be. Yeah. But yeah, um, you've done well, mate. You've you've taken it on board and, and run with it. And both of you and Junior, um, both of you boys have done a really good job. So. And, and Capo as well, thanks. Capo, Capo wherever he is, he's probably yeah. out with a yeah. girl somewhere. He's like, <laughs> always get told. But yeah, no, thanks for um, doing Thank it for the year and I um, appreciate you boys for everything you do yeah. from around the cop. So Thanks. well done, boys. Thanks, Wallace. Thanks, Wallace. Thanks, Wallace. Thanks, Wallace. There we go. That was good. All right, guys. Um, see you uh, next season, probably. This yeah, is next probably season. The, this is probably the last episode we do for the year. I mean, unless uh, Minty, as he said last episode, you're going to organise some AFL players, that might happen. But until then, we'll see you later. See you later, guys.